Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys probably one of the last updates uh, for a little bit in terms of like leveling and direction. Main being uh, is because we're going to be hitting 100 soon unless something terrible goes wrong in today's maps. Uh, so we are currently level 99 at 52%. And I have figured out exactly how I want to level to 100 this league. It's kind of similar to strategies I have done before. Um, so I I count these as kind of like mid investment and I do want to state beforehand before anything that uh, These are just focused on fun like pure fun and enjoyment Naturally, I almost always profit in everything I do regarding maps because it's pretty hard to go backwards in terms of mapping currency Unless you are doing very expensive strategies So a quick example of what we're doing and then I'll talk about a quick change I have done since a lot of people ask about it I am currently running with, and, and again, if the prices on this stuff go up, don't copy me, right? Because this is unfortunately what happens in player-driven economies. I'm using Map Contains an Additional Abyss with pack size. Uh, it doesn't really matter. These three are pretty much just rolled for pack size. Ideally, I would run Mysterious Harbinger, but that's pretty expensive, and then I have to sell more stuff, so I'm leaving that alone, even though it's totally worth it, even at the current prices. My favorite maps are bouncing between a couple Mainly just, you know, it's a little bit nice to run a couple different map layouts. All of them are fun. Um, so Cemetery at the chance at the rare 5 Divine Div card. Fungal Hollow because I said I'm running a Fungal Hollow and got three tanks. So really excited with Fungal Hollow. Toxic Sewers because, uh, I mean, there's not really much to say. It's pretty self-explanatory. Fantastic layout. Uh, Jungle Valley and Tropical Island also very good layouts. Uh, and then another Fungal Hollow for good luck. All I have to do is the Feared, but I'm too lazy and don't really want to die, so probably do that at 100, but I don't really think I would die in the Feared with this Divine Flesh setup. So I did make one big change, and then the remaining stuff, I'm also doing Abyss on the Bench because it's only two Chaos. I'm using Rusted Elder for pack size. I'm using Harby for extra Harbingers. I'm using Polished Abyss for the increased monsters, and I'm using Ambush for extra strong boxes. And an example of my atlas i will be updating the atlas command today on stream i think i will maybe move around a few more points but anyway let's talk about uh the big swap so i'm at the point on my character uh, i did it yesterday at 99 and you don't have to wait nearly as long as me right i'm a lot more of a i just want to play path of exile i'll optimize my character later that's kind of the philosophy i have if i'm not struggling i don't want to stop very impatient so um I have done the swap from RF to body armor to helmet. Uh, I went up about 25% total damage, very close. So I think it was, uh, I was about 3.2 million damage and then I went to about 4 million. The damage might be a little weird because I'm in an explode setup. So I am, instead of running spider, I am running uh, Herald of Ash. With the way my build works, this is really easy to toggle, right? I can remove the Herald of Ash and put on spider. If I don't want spider, I take it off and put on Herald of Ash. Bam, just like that. So. Um, the main purpose of this swap is maintaining around the same RF damage, but you're getting less AoE. The AoE doesn't really matter too much when majority of my killing is explode. Second off, your fire trap damage shoots up through the uh, like, through the roof. Um, so my fire trap right now is like just a little bit over a million. And again, my gear is actually not really that good. Like my gems are good and some of my gear is good, but like my weapon, my weapon is pretty bare bone. It's... Fracture dot multi with burn damage with crafted multi and not even a plus one, not even... It could be way better. My shield has spell damage instead of fire damage, right? My crucible tree at the moment, I'm so lazy, it literally doesn't even exist. I don't even want to talk about it. So, you know, not everything is as crazy expensive as it may seem, right? Same thing with my amulet. My amulet is just plus one. There is no plus one, plus one dot multi. It's much more basic than that. My helmet is 30% more Ellie with plus one. I've put 10 divines in my helmet trying to re-roll for plus two. Uh, no helm enchant. So some of my gear is expensive, but a lot of it is still realistic. <clears throat> so the purpose of this is to go way higher on the fire trap damage, and here's why. So in your helmet, if you're doing this swap, you want to be careful because if you're using a conch effect, uh, your RF is going to shrink. Now, again, for me, that would be okay because I am explode with Oriaths, but something to pay uh, attention to. So I have Awaken Swift Affliction, Righteous Fire, Awaken Elemental Focus, and Life Tap. You can do another setup with like an Empower 4, but that is way more expensive than this current setup. Uh, and then over on the Body Armor, this is also much easier to Chrome because it's 3 off color instead of 4. 
I'm using Fire Trap, Empower, uh, Awaken Swift Affliction, Trap and Mine, Life Tap, and Awaken Burn. I do believe you can drop Awaken Swift Affliction for Combustion for extremely similar damage uh, and more consistent damage at that because you're getting the Ignite proc. So th if you end up getting like two green, one blue, you don't have to rechrome. You could just use Combustion. They're very similar in terms of damage. All right, with that being said, I'm going to go lag to another dimension in this map. I hope you guys enjoy the showcase. Again, nothing too crazy. Um, let's jump into it. Okay. Am I on despair? I don't want to be on despair. Okay. I actually need to recraft gloves. I can get another 10% AoE on my gloves if I do that. Oh yeah, so with this setup, I have also swapped my Ascendancy back to Unyielding. You do not have to do this, right? The purpose of this is to just get cleaner explode chaining, right? So uh, I'm also not stun immune by any means right now. I'm still running Lunaris for the physical damage reduction. Mainly because the chances of me getting stunned by something in a map is really, really unlikely. If you're playing hardcore, I would still use Brine King for sure right in this setup. Oh look, three abyss, okay. I also gotta fix my loot filter, but that's a, that's a topic for another day. Because if yeah, the end game one like this right now with this content, you definitely want to fine tune it some more. Anyway though, um, yeah, the only things that would really stun me are crazy stuff like Ice Nova strong boxes. Um, there is an Arc Nemesis I think that stun locks you every single hit. I don't know what it's called. I might be confusing it with Bone Breaker. That's like the physical overwhelm. I don't fully remember, but I don't really get stunned much with this setup, so. Final boss drops Harbinger Scarab. Hmm. It's gilded. Let's take it. Yeah, gilded Harvey's pretty nice, dude. Oh boy. Oh, we found the density room. We got a boss in here. Omniphobia. Goodbye, Omniphobia. I think I gotta turn off all six sockets. Turn off the transmute, so I got a lot to turn off. Drop, uh, probably drop singular alchemies. My mana is gone. Okay, where's this abyss going? Over here? All right, let's go. What you got, abyss? Uh, I'm not ready to look at that. Maybe I'll just take this one. What do we have on these wands. Any good caster fractures? No furs. Actually, I could probably charge the crucible. Let's see. We're we're going for our chaos orbs here. Yeah, let's go. A little bit of uh, delirium crucible. You know what could go wrong? Molten masters while you are delirious. Wait, that's an achievement? Huh. 
Yeah, I think there was one more delirium over here. This one. Yeah. Oh, that's backtracking again. Free. I remember when Rigwald's Curse came out. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the unarmed crit. Is that the yeah yeah the unarmed crit talisman, and people went crazy for it. And I never heard of it ever again. <laughs> I don't know. I have to go investigate, see whatever happened. That people are making builds around this. Also, we got another abyss. That's four fog. Spirit shield. Okay. Okay. that happen. Oh, plus one melee gems. That's so rude. I should take the gold ring, right? And get fractured rarity. Oh. My mana is gone. I cannot do this yet. All right, longest toxic sewer clear NA has been completed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the progress update. Let me know what you guys think. Um, don't forget, if you like the video, you can uh, like, subscribe, and uh, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box, except for Sundays. See you guys all tomorrow, and thanks for watching.